Erre tome ka go dumedisa ketla pele ya kereke a wa senior pastor pastor Ndlala and the husband I guess ka le sibengele le inkokhelo ya lubandla mfundisi Ndlala kanye nomlingani pastor Elijah Tuli and the wife umfundisi Ndule kanye nomgakhe pastor Mabula and the wife umfundisi Mabula kanye nomgakhe and the rest of the pastorate ne ne inkokhelo yonke yabafundisi and then uh, greetings again to our Board of Elders. And then he to our board members. Amen. And then he blessed Jesus Christ. Amen. Alleluia. Amen. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, Mfundisi, though I am shaking, hallelujah. It's not nice to stand before the congregation. Times two, <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. Spazalwane, uh, without any waste of time. Apanda uh, Christians cards. Sizotola is fun to say to in the book of Ephesians chapter four. Verse twenty nine. Verse twenty nine. Ephesians chapter four. Verse twenty nine. Amen. And chapter Jongo kusele kileyo. Uguze. Liba vezele. Umusa. Abazwayo. Milo mungi ya lina. Usichu masapa. Hau nyake kakure libulele. Libulele fela. Chedi lukile. Uli chedi hula hubatu. Uri chedi libulele hu. Hallelujah. Amen. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearer. Hallelujah. Amen. From where we read, before we can proceed, let us just analyze this verse a bit. So I'm going to start by asking maybe two or three questions emanating from this verse. Why is one speech important? Hallelujah. Amen. Why do the words we use portray what do the words we use portray about us? Who are we representing? Hallelujah. Amen. Bazalwane, the church of God is scattered. Because of our speech. I picked up uh, one thing as you were praying in Masilela. You said in your prayer, we are no longer saving God, but we are saving ourselves. Even though we are coming into the house of worship, we are saving our own interests. Paul is encouraging us about the importance of speaking 
in a way that brings honor and glory to God. It is something that I like. Here. It is speech. Is one of the most precious gift. But at the same time, the very same speech, some of us, we misuse it. Hallelujah. Amen. Instead of using it to honor God, but we display ourselves as eloquent people. We are not even aware when the devil is whispering in our ears. Telling us how smart we are. How eloquent we are. How influential we are. And then because we are so influential. When we speak. People listen to us. People follow us. We are not even aware. That that we are saying. Is taking the people of God astray. Hallelujah. Amen. When you read in the book of Matthew 12, oh, well, I'm book, I'm at 12 verse 34 to 36, 34 to 36. you brood of vipers, how can you who are evil say anything good? For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. In every joke there is a little bit of truth. I was not serious about what I said. But the word attested everything that you say is what is stored up in your heart. But I tell you that everyone will have, let us go back a bit. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. When you are speaking good, when you are speaking evil, all of them comes within your heart. All of them is stored up in your heart. That is why Mola Hodimu Irile Sere Sevole Lang Se Chalo Sa Sere Nare Leng Sona. Isi Lesu Kuluma Gugu Kazat Logo Etsi Na Singi Ego. Hallelujah. Oh, amen. But I tell you that every one Fela Kele Bucho Reki Yo Li Yo will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. What does it mean? Empty word. Because with your utterances, you didn't build anyone. With your utterances, you didn't preach the gospel. With your utterances, you drove people away from grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes we take an advantage. We take stock. Hallelujah. Amen. And assess on how much people love us. It is grace to be loved. But let us not misuse that grace. 
it is grace to be loved. Let us use that in an advantage of God. So because the love that the people are showing us is the very same love that we have to take an advantage to lead them into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. But what we are doing, says Justina, we are doing what is contrary to the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Our speech should be that that portrays the goodness of God. And his faithfulness to those who believe in him. Hallelujah. Amen. And how he transformed their lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Because our hearts are full of hatred. We are angry in the house of the Lord. We are not doing what we were called to do. We are doing the opposite. And then now we have been called so that when people look at us, they should see Christ in us, not the other way around. That's why the word says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. We have to practice that. Because we have received Christ, so we have to portray Christ unto the nations so that the people may see this Christ in us. Because if we are doing the opposite, people will see no difference between us and them. It doesn't matter how much you preach. But if your actions are contrary to the word, if your actions are full of the words, of the things of this world, Le <laughs> I want to know what you are not practicing the things of God. You are like a bordering Hallelujah. Amen. Unfortunately, the devil Caesar. He is using the very same children of God into the house of the Lord to fight his own battles. Because the devil has whispered into our ears telling us that we are intelligent, we are educated, now he saw the opportunity through you to enter into the house of worship and use you to divide Hallelujah, his children. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Musa nje kupela. Singa sebenzi silo Musa ngendela enga fanela. Reskabe raswara mwa hau oka zelesa swanao. Listen to what Paul is saying. Taeja ure paulo suri. What one says should be, should be characterized by being appropriate for the situation. Hallelujah. Amen. I know we are human. Sometimes we do get emotional. And it is normal. But in our emotions, we don't have to forget that we are the chosen ones. We have been set apart. To be a Christian, it doesn't mean you have to be, you are immune from saying certain things, but be selective in what you are saying. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, uh, Justina, there is this one verse that I came across. In Hallelujah. Amen. In the house of worship. Listen to the second Corinthians. Second Corinthians 12 20. Bakorinte babu bedi twelve verse kiabu twenty. E kore reskare wati tomel. Senga sulo nyalo uyati uyati kale la leti tindu. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I read? Second. Yeah, twelve twenty. Second Corinthians twelve verses twenty. Eno otoi balale kasi pedi agirim jos. For I am afraid that when I come, I may not find you as I want you to be. And you may not find me as you want me to be. I fear that there may be discord. Jealousy, Mona, fits of rage, selfish ambition, slender, gossip, arrogance and disorder. I read we had some disagreements in our speech. Now I am no longer trusting you. I want to come to church. But I'm scared. I'm afraid of you. You know, we are living in a time as a church whereby when I bump into someone or that I had a disagreement with him in the bathroom, I, I don't even know whether he's going to choke me because it is only the two of us there. Uh, uh, in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Lenswila modimo le re moya o halalelang ga utu le ditshile. Le tshile pele ka ngulungulu moya lo ingcwele a u hlalela ku ngcole khona. I once preached about the grieving of the Holy Spirit. That our actions, the way we do things, the way we look at other people. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. It pains me, my Jesus. Because what we are doing, we are doing them knowing the scripture. But because the first love is gone, we are saving ourselves and our friends not God in a house of worship can you imagine waking up in the morning taking a bath Utrike. <laughs> Oh, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There are few things that I want to mention before we close. Some of them are painful. But we have to swallow a pain. Because we want to be healthy. Spiritually. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we want because the way we talk to people already we are sinners inside the house of the Lord. We are the bench warmers. God doesn't recognize us anymore because of our action. Until we repent, it is where God is going to accept and receive our prayers. Hallelujah. My God. Number one. Corrupt speech, corrupt speech is the characteristic of the pagan society. Hey. Mm. And ungodly. It is excessive. Selfish. 
and vulgar inside the house of the Lord. We talk as we please. You may not fear me as the preacher of the word. But the advice that I'm bringing unto you is to fear the master. Remember, the word of God says, touch not my anointed. Hallelujah. Amen. I live Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. We have misused the grace of being loved by people. Hallelujah. My God. We should have self-control and think for others. It doesn't matter how angry you are. But the fact is that you are still a child of God. Control yourself. The word of God says he changes our character. Now, if you are going to say vulgar words in the house of the Lord, that simply means your character is still the same. Hallelujah. Amen. We should speak that is good to the use of edifying. Our speech should be good. Purposeful. And build others. Our obligation. Obligation is to minister grace to those who hear us and help them in their Christian walk. Can you imagine talking anyhow to a new convert? Can you imagine This person is looking up to you. This person trusts you because you've been a Christian for quite a long time. Now he needs your guidance. But when he sees you, when he hears you, he doesn't see any difference. Finally, let us display a Christ like life so that they can see him in us. It is not about us, but for the kingdom of God. Thank you, Murutin Jala.